go down to the tennis court and talk it up like yeah Hey guys, so today, as you can see, it is just me here. Uh, Jacqueline is in New York right now, so I decided I would just film this video um, on how to make these do-it-yourself choker necklaces. So let's get started. So we're going to start off with the tattoo choker and some things that you're going to need are stretch cord, scissors, tape, and something to tape your stretch cord to. So with the stretch cord, you're going to take one and a half arm lengths worth of it, cut that off, and then once you have that, you're going to fold it in half. And once you fold it in half, you're going to see that there's the two ends or there's a rounded side. And with the rounded side, you're going to tape that part of it to the surface and that's how you're going to work off of it. So once you're done taping it, you're going to take one of the ends of the stretch cord and you're going to loop it over the other end, if that makes sense. So you're going to take it over the one side of it and through the middle. It's kind of hard to explain at first or get at first, but once you do it a couple times, it's super easy after that. So now that you've done one side, you're going to do the same exact thing with the other one and loop it over the side of the string and in through the middle. And when I do it, I like to do it not too tight because I personally like the loops a little bit larger um, at the end. So it's all really your personal preference on that, um, whether you want to do it smaller or you would rather have them look larger. Um, and another tip is... If you get lost while you're doing it and you forget which string you were doing first or which one you did last, um, all you have to do is look for which side is pointing straight down and that's the side you're going to use to go again. So now all you have to do is repeat the process and until you get to the end of the string, um, super easy. So once you've reached the end of your string, all you're going to do is take it off. And this is the part actually that gets a little bit tricky um, because the stretch cord really doesn't want to be tied in a knot because it'll come on loose really easily. So something that you can do is um, light or torch the ends of the stretch cord together so that they melt and they stick together. Or if you do not have like one of those or a parental supervision, I suggest that you just tie a knot, you take one of the ends and loop it through the other and tie a knot that way and you have to tie it super tight otherwise it's going to come out. And when you're tying the knot I suggest you do it more than one time just because it will come undone. I think I also know that you can use a hot glue gun and with the hot glue gun all you would have to do is glue the ends together. Once you've secured the ends of your necklace, it's ready to wear. So now we're going to move on to the suede choker necklace. And some things that you're going to need are suede cord, scissors, jewelry pliers, lobster clips, and a jewelry loot, as well as charms of your choice. So once you've measured the suede cord around your neck, you're going to cut it off and then take your lobster clipping and you see the cone shaped end, you're taking the suede cord and you're going to put that through the cone-shaped end. Once you have that done, you're going to take your jewelry pliers and squeeze your jewelry pliers around the cone-shaped end so that it squeezes the suede cord. So once you've done the same exact thing with the other side, you're going to take your jewelry loop and you're going to pry it open and you're going to pick a charm of your choice and you're going to loop it through the jewelry loop. And then once you loop it through, you're going to squeeze the ends of the loop tightly together so that they're touching and the charm won't fall out of it. So once you've done that, all you have to do is take the necklace and loop it through the charm of your choice and that's it. 
and you have your suede cord choker.